Hello, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our final daily article for the week. I told you guys that today we would be reading about the hammerhead shark. So this is what we will be focusing on today. I'm going to read the article out loud to you guys, and then we'll go over the main points, and you will reread and answer the questions on your own. Hammerhead sharks. When they hear the word shark, many people think of the great white shark. While this shark is the largest and most ferocious fish in the sea, there is another shark I find equally interesting. This shark is the hammerhead shark. Actually, there are nine different species or types of hammerhead sharks. The smallest is only three feet long. The largest, the great hammerhead, can grow to nearly 20 feet, so almost as big as a great white shark. What makes all nine so interesting is their flat hammer-shaped heads with an eye on each end of the hammer. So. If you look at this picture right here, their head is kind of shaped like a hammer and they have an eye on either side. So their eyes are very far apart and their head is shaped like a hammer. That's why they're called hammerhead sharks. This large spacing between eyes gives the hammerhead shark a much wider field of vision than other sharks. Such vision is great for spotting prey. So they're able to see really well because they have much better vision. What kind of prey do they hunt? Other fish, including smaller hammerheads, so they'll eat each other if it's smaller than them. Squid, octopuses, crustacean are all commonly eaten. Crustaceans are like shellfish, so shrimp, things like that. And of course, there's also the hammerhead shark's favorite meal, stingrays. So it loves a stingray, that's like a dessert to them. The hammerhead shark sometimes uses its head to pin stingrays to the sea floor. So it'll kind of hammer it to the floor using its head. Hammerheads have small mouths for sharks. Their triangle shaped teeth are serrated and sharp. So they have small mouths for a shark and they have very sharp triangle shaped teeth. Like other sharks, a hammerhead has special sensing organs called electroreceptors in its head. These sensors detect the movements and vibrations of prey. So just like the gray white and like many other sharks and how we compared it to the bats and the echolation, the sharks are able to use the vibrations from the electroreceptors. They can even help a hammerhead find prey hiding beneath the sand on the sea floor. Like all sharks, hammerheads have a great sense of smell. They have a pair of nares, which are like nostrils, right below their snout. Once a shark picks up the scent of its prey, it can follow the smell for many miles until it finds its meal. Most fish lay eggs. Sharks are the exception because their young are born alive. So sharks are different from other fish because they do not lay eggs. So sharks do not lay eggs like other fish. They give birth to babies. Mother hammerhead sharks give birth to as many as 40 or 50 young or pups. So a baby shark is called a pup and the mom can give birth to up to 50 pups at one time. During the day, hammerhead sharks swim in schools. That means in groups. At night, they usually hunt alone. So in the day, they swim with their friends in the school, and at night, they hunt by themselves. Of the nine known species of hammerheads, only three can be dangerous to humans. The scalloped hammerhead, the great hammerhead, and the smooth hammerheads. So there's only three kinds that are considered dangerous to humans. The great hammerhead is among the fiercest fish in the ocean. Even though they can be very dangerous animals, there have been less than 50 known hammerhead attacks on humans. So there's only been 50 attacks by great hammerhead sharks, or I think, or by any hammerhead shark. Still, I wouldn't want to swim with one. Concern has grown in recent years about the fading numbers of some hammerhead shark species. Fading means that the numbers are going down. 
One reason they have become endangered is overfishing. The hammerhead's extra tall dorsal fin is considered a delicacy and is used to make shark fin soup in some parts of the world. So like other sharks, the hammerhead shark's fin is considered very delicious and special. So there's been a lot of overfishing. They've been killing them and using their fins for soup. So some types of hammerheads are unfortunately becoming endangered. All right, let's review our main points and then you guys can get to work. So we learned that there are nine different types, species of hammerhead sharks, right? They have a hammer shaped head with an eye on either side but that helps them, it makes their vision very good and they're able to see all around them and spot prey better than other types of sharks. They are carnivores and we know their favorite meal is the stingray. They have electroreceptors, which allows them to feel vibrations and they can sense animals through vibrations when they're hunting. We learned that hammerheads and all sharks do not lay eggs like other fish, they give birth. There are three types of hammerheads that are dangerous and overfishing and killing them for their fins has caused some types of hammerheads to become endangered. All right, so now you guys will reread the article on your own and answer your Google form questions once. All right, good job guys.